Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and let's continue with the series of Servlet and JSP. So what we have done till now is simply created this page which is index.html where I'm asking for two values num1 and num2. When you click on submit the request goes to add where add will call your add servlet where you are accepting these two values you're trying to add them. What we also trying to do here is we are trying to call another servlet or we are sending a request which is sq which is handled by the sq servlet. Now there's one thing we have to remember is we are using a response.send redirect which means the add servlet will send uh, or will, it will respond to a client by sending a signal by by sending a signal which says hey just go to the sq servlet. Now sq servlet will try to find a square of a number but which number? We have to send this key right? And we have done that in the earlier video. We have we have talked about this that we can pass the value by saying sq question mark and then we can pass a value. So the way we do with the query string. But do we have another option? Let's say what well, if we don't want to use URL rewriting which we have done in the earlier video. Now you might be thinking what's the drawback in doing that because it works right? What if you want to pass multiple values? What if you want to use the same value in multiple servlet not just this servlet? Maybe you have add servlet which calls sq servlet then sq servlet which, which calls some other servlet. In that scenario if you want to maintain the data throughout the session. Oh that's a good word now. There's a concept of session which means whenever you go to a web, web application it will try to maintain a session for you and that will be done by your Tomcat of course. How will you use a session here? Because session is there throughout the throughout your visit there right? If you visit one servlet, second servlet, third servlet it will be there for you. So what if you can put your data into session? So once you put your k into session here you can use that session value in the next servlet. How do we do that? As I mentioned session will be given by Tomcat we just have to get the hold on it. And the way you do that is by using HTTP session. So HTTP session is an interface we just have to say HTTP session session and as I mentioned the object will be given by Tomcat itself. You simply have to say request dot get session we just have to get the hold on it. And once we got a session object with us we'll simply say session dot set attribute because session will be there throughout your visit to the website right if you go to add servlet if you go to sq servlet even if after some time if you go to some other page which is the same application the session will be available for you now, provided you don't, you don't close the session provided you don't remove the value from the session we can do that by the way so we'll say session dot set attribute and i would say the value is going in a format of k and the value itself is k so i'm sending a attribute which is k and the value is k how do we as how do we access that here? How do we fetch the value? Now, of course, we are not sending data into request object. We are sending data in a in a session. So the way you fetch the value now is by saying, so we'll remove that. We'll say session dot. Oh, we have not instance. We have not given the reference for session here. We have not declared it here. So I would say HTTP session HTTP session session equal to the same thing. A request dot get session. And once we got a hold on it, once we got the hold on the session object, I would say session dot get inside the add servlet we have said set attribute. Here we have to say get attribute. It's that simple. And here I would mention I want k. Okay, now there's one issue. When you say attribute, it means it will return you the object. We don't want object. What we want is the int format right so we'll simply typecast it we'll say int and we are done so this will give you object and we have to convert that into int we just simply typecasting it again we can we can say integer percent as well we just have to convert that into string but multiple steps right this is simple we see if we can simply typecast it with int now this should work let's verify i will go back to my html i will say right like run as the non server so it is opening my firefox and here it, i would say 2 and 3 which is 5 into 2 which is 25 answer should be 25 and we got it can you see that we got the answer so first it is adding those two values and then it is it is finding a square of a number quite simple right so we can use session as well now as i mentioned the data will be available in this session for you throughout provided you don't delete this data from the session can we really do that yes we can actually we can delete data from a session uh, so we can once you got the hold on it we can say session dot uh, there are there's a way you can say is it remove attribute yes you can say that we, we have remove attribute and you can remove k here now once you remove k of course you cannot fetch the value so you can fetch this value only when you have the value in the in the session 
So using this, you can remove it. That's how you can use session. Now, normally we can use session to maintain the login. So let's say if you log in on your website and if you want to verify, if you go, if, a, if a user goes to another page and if you want to verify the user is already logged in, you can, you can maintain the data in the session. That's what we do. Now this looks cool, right? So session looks cool. Do we have some other way? In fact, we'll be working on session more in the future topics once we start with JSP. But can we do something more here? And the answer is yes. What we can also do is we can use cookies as well. So the way we have session, we can also use cookies. Now, how that that works? So what I will do is I will not use session anymore. Let me remove session. Let me remove session from it everywhere. I want to use cookies here. So I would say int k again. Initially, I would say zero. How do we do the same thing with the help of cookies? Let's get back to add. And here I would say, I want to work with cookie. Now, what is cookie basically? So whenever you send a request to the server and a server will send you a response. Now in that response object, so the response object which, which is coming from the server will have a cookie. And then when you, when you send the request to SQ server, you can send the same cookie again. So the first would be the cookie is coming on the client side and then you're again sending the cookie to the server. Now, if you want to imagine this, imagine you're going to a shop to buy something. Or let's say if you are going to a restaurant or if you're going to a restaurant where, which provides you self-service where you have to buy the product first, you have to pay the amount and then you will get the get the uh, dish or whatever you want to eat. So let's say you, you want to buy something which, uh, which cost you around let's say 50 bucks and you are giving 100 bucks. So you don't have a change with you. So the, the product cost you around 50 bucks but you are, you are paying 100 bucks. And the shopkeeper says or the restaurant person says hey he don't have a change now of course you don't even you don't have a change he don't have a change what you will do he will say okay wait for some time once i got the change i will give it to you you go back to your seat and then after half an hour you go back to the uh, cashier and say hey i want my 50 50 bucks back now will he remember you of course not right after half an hour he may forgot who you are so in the earlier scenario what you should have done is the moment he says hey wait for 30 minutes he will give you a token on that token it will it, it will write he will write 50 which means when you go back to him after some time you can show that token which says 50 that's a cookie when you go for the first time he will give you a token so that when you go back to him after some time you can use a token i, I hope you understood something about that example here i will try to implement that with the java code so i would say cookie that this is how you create a cookie you say cookie uh, cookie basically belongs to javax package javax.server.http and i would say cookie equal to how do we create a cookie it's a class basically so we can simply say new cookie okay we got a cookie which asks you for two parameters the first parameter is the name of it i will say k and the value of it which is k as well so i um, have a name which is k and the value is k we got a cookie ask we got our cookie we cannot simply pass k here it should be string how do we convert this k into string we can simply append a double quotes right so integer append double quotes is string now once we got this cookie we just have to add this cookie to the response object so that it will go to the client i would say response dot add cookie and i will pass cookie that's done we are sending this cookie to the client now this means this add subject will send the response to the client and client again will send a request to SQ servlet. Now when a client send a request to SQ servlet again, it will send the cookie as well. Oh, that means we have to first accept the cookies. And the way you do that is by saying, oh, how do we do that? So when a servlet send a response to the client, it is response object, right? And next time when a client send a request to the SQ servlet, that means the, the cookie will be coming in the request object, right? So I will say req dot. Do we have a get cookie method? So I will try to get guess that. Oh, we don't have get cookie. We have get cookies. That's weird. Why get cookies? Why not get cookie? It is possible that on the client side, you don't have one cookie. You have multiple cookies. Quite possible, right? We don't want. Okay, so it will give you all the cookies because client even don't know which cookie you need. So client says, hey, I will give you all the cookies. You figure it out what which cookie you want. Okay, so since client is sending all the cookies, I have to use an array of cookies. So I would say cookies array equal to. Let me import the package. As I mentioned, we are not getting one cookie. We are getting cookies. So that's why we have an array. And from this array, I want to fetch the cookie which I want. How do we know which we, which I want? For that, I will use an announce for loop. I would say for, in fact, you know, I will just declare this variable up here so that I can use it later. I would say for enhance, enhance for loop works something like this. I would say uh, cookie C equal uh, colon, 
cookies it will give you it will run a loop through to all the cookies and then i would say what how do we fetch a cookie now so i would say first of all i want to know which cookie i want so i would say if the cookie name so i would say cookie c dot get name is it the uh yeah so we have get name if the name equals k that's what we want to compare right if name equals k this is our cookie i would say k equal to c dot get value so we don't want all the values we want only value of that cookie which has a value which is the name of with the name with k okay now it says get value will give you object i do or get value give you what string we have to convert that into integer so i would say integer dot percent okay so this is how we can fetch cookies and let's verify if it is working i'm not sure let's run this code let's verify i would say restart so here it is asking for two values i would say eight and six and if I say submit, you can see we got 196, which is the square of one of square of 14. So it works. So yes, you have multiple options. In the last video, we have seen URL rewriting. In this video, we have seen how do we use session? I know how do we use cookies to send this data? Uh, let me know if you have not understood the example here of cookie. I will try to create a theory video where I will explain how that cookie flows from a client to the server. So that's it from this video. We have talked about session. We have talked about cookies. I would also recommend you to practice this code. Try some, ex try different examples, not just addition of two numbers. You can also try login, username, password. Uh, you can also try to use, I mean, you can, you can do some other operations as well. So try it out. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this video. We're waiting for your comments and do like the video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching everyone.